It may be legal to smoke recreational pot, but you could be risking your job when you do it. It is still federally illegal. And some uh, organizations, even smaller ones, have uh, federal con contracts and uh, the federal contracts may require them to be compliant with federal law. Butler works for an organization that counsels businesses on issues like this. Employers are still learning about the effects on policies and there are still a lot of questions to be answered. There's a concern that because of the law will there be more, um, more use uh, and, and potentially more risk of it, uh, marijuana, impacting the workplace. And I think our employers are concerned about things like safety, um, client, their customer safety. This concern has a lot of businesses on edge. Butler says the idea is still fairly new and it's their job to educate companies on Amendment 64. At least the organizations I've spoken with have really wanted to make sure that they're very clear with their employees about what their policy is and that it uh, hasn't changed or that marijuana, they still include marijuana even, even though it's the status has changed in, in Colorado. Although local businesses with no federal ties can do as they please, Butler's advice for employers is to not treat marijuana different than alcohol. What employees need to remember is marijuana stays in your system longer, so if you fail a random drug test, you could get fired. Our general advice to employers is if you've had a, a prohibition on, on drugs and alcohol in the workplace, to, to really continue that.